What is going on with YouTube? This is Dave from Tech Refresh coming at you with another video. Today we're looking at the Caseology Vault case uh, for the Pixel 6 Pro. All right, if you're brand new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you happen to enjoy the video, don't forget to click the like button. Look, I picked this case for a very specific reason. Uh, link is down in the description. I did get it off of Amazon. It is a real foldable, bendy uh, style case, not too crazy on the protection, but the real reason I picked this case is because when it comes to the Pixel 6, man, you do not get a lot of different colors. It's normally black and that's it for the cases. So I went with the sage green, which I do like it. Um, it is a good looking case. So let's snap it in. I've been using it for about four days. So I'll let you guys know what I think about this case after the tour. Down at the bottom, you know the usual suspects. It's the cutouts for the ports, USB Type-C, and both speaker grills. Of course, no issues there. Coming along the side of the case, you have a little Caseology branding, very faint uh, indented into the phone, and then clean on this side. And I can say the texture on the side of the phone, it does provide a little grip. It's smooth, but it has Ah, a little feel to it. So it's a little different than the other cases I've been using. So it does provide just a slight amount of grip, nothing major, but it does have a feel to it. Up at the top, you already know, noise canceling, mic cut out, and that's it. It's kind of big too. Uh, and that's it. Along the sides, you have your power button and volume rockers. There's nothing separating the volume rockers. Not an issue with me. Um, didn't have a problem figuring it out power button isn't ridged or anything like that. Everything's smooth up here, but no issues. They're plenty clicky. You can hear that. Um, and then down here, you do have cutouts for a lanyard. So if you wanna wrap this bad boy around your wrist, you do have cutouts for a lanyard. Coming along the back, you have a couple different materials, tones, patterns. I can see this bad boy's already getting dirty. All right, so you have this, uh, it, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I don't know if you guys can make it out. Probably not, but it's like, it's not completely smooth. Um, it is like a, a soft touch matte feel, but just not completely smooth. If you guys could see, it doesn't really have a pattern. It just is not completely smooth. So it does provide a slight bit of grip. Up top, you have a vertical ridge pattern for, you know, it to get dirty and things to get stuck in here. Um, but it kind of decent look. I'm not sure if I really like the look of that, but it does its job because if you could see, the camera is recessed deep in there. So yeah, it's gonna protect your camera and that's the biggest concern. Uh, when we're looking at protection, um, if you guys could see, yes, you're gonna get the protection top and bottom. Curve screen phones do not really offer much protection on the sides. The cases cannot just come up over the sides, but top bottom offers protection. So do I recommend this case? Absolutely, it's a good case, man. I don't really have any major gripes against it. Uh, does offer a slight bit of grip, just enough protection for me, good fit. It's not loose or anything like that. Um, the only thing is this case is going to show it's fair amount of wear and tear, uh, because I picked a light color, the dirt, it doesn't really come off. It just kind of becomes one with the case. Um, so it's going to start looking bad fast. This case will be in rotation for me, but I can't use it all the time. It'll look bad too fast. So when I'm itching for a little pop of color, I'll go ahead and pop this guy on, um, and use it for a couple days and then take it off. Uh, to keep it from just wearing out. But yeah, I, I could recommend the case, man. If you're looking for something other than a black case, the Caseology Vault case is a good case.